Yeah, absolutely. I'll give you some more information about the hang test. Um, when it comes to the hang test, I've been getting a question a lot, so I'm just going to do it in an individual video instead of uh, responding through comments and, and kicking people back to that other video. So hang test, Norfolk Southern, it's going to be day one when you get down there. Is It's either going to be the first thing you do when you get there in the morning or you're going to do paperwork and then go out and do it shortly after that. Um, when you go out there, you're going to do it one of two places. There is either a set of uh, ladders that's going to be to the right of the building, or there's going to be a full set of eight sections in the static station, which represents the back of a, a car. It'll have handbrakes on it, platforms, etc., and all the grab irons that you need. Um, but you'll be taken to one of the two places. And then from that point, they'll break you up into small groups of either four or eight they'll give you thorough, thorough instructions. So don't worry about whether you're doing the hand signals correctly, anything like that. The only purpose of this test, it's an exaggerated version of what it's like to give signals with a lantern to the engineer from the side of a rail car. The only thing they're looking for here is do you have the capability to keep yourself safe? Think about it as like hanging from monkey bars, okay? So with that being said, when you get down to the hang test, you're gonna step up on the sill step, what think of it as the bottom step of the ladder, and then you're going to take your lantern, in your hand here and then grab the grab iron above your head keep that in mind above your head not at shoulder length above your head so that way you can pass your lantern back and forth and also when you're making your signals you'll drop this down into your right hand and you're still going to stay with the ladder rung above your head that way you can support most of your weight with your feet that's the biggest thing i could suggest in addition to that gloves they're going to tell you on your way down, bring your own leather gloves if you want, um, bring mechanics gloves, anything that makes your job easier. That's true. But when you do the hang test, use the PPE that they provide. The PPE they provide is a set of gloves that is a nylon material. It slides on. It's form fitted to your hand because it's based on size and it's got a grippy texture on it. It will help you on those rungs. I'm telling you that because when I got down here, I used the mechanics gloves I've had. They had velvet on the inside and I slipped during the last five seconds of my hang test uh, when I was doing my first uh, first go round, you can take the test up to three times, twice on the first day, and then once again at 6:30 in the morning the following day, um, if you don't pass on the on the first day. Unfortunately, if you fail all three times, they do send you home. So make sure that you keep that in mind when you come down. It don't want to stress you out too much with it, but um, if you follow those things, if you grab the iron above your head. You support most of your weight with your feet and then um, use the gloves that they provide you when you come down here, you'll be absolutely fine. 